Hello everyone, welcome to In Love live stream. Uh, happy Monday. I hope everybody is enjoying their beautiful day. We have a special treat for you. We have two people today. First one is going to be Carolyn D'Amour. She is the CEO of the Pizza Girl. And she will talk about her recipes. She's an amazing chef by day and she is a DJ by night, international DJ. Uh, she has a lot going on in her life and she is beautiful inside and out. And we all want to hear all about her story, how she became the chef of the pizza girl and about her music as a DJ. So we welcome Carolyn to the stream. Waiting for her to come on. She's gonna show us her recipes and she's gonna share the recipes with everyone tonight. So it's gonna be really fun, interactive. Hi, Sari. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so good to see everyone. And we can't wait for Carolyn to come in and, and join us with her amazing stories. And then after Carolyn, we have Chelsea, who's gonna talk about her latest drama that she plays in Vida. That's gonna be very interesting as well. So the first one is <clears throat> Carolyn. We're waiting for her to join us. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Carolyn. She is the CEO of the Pizza Girl, which is the amazing uh, pizza uh, franchise and it's all over the Los Angeles in West Hollywood and they have a catering company and it's started by her family and she is the main chef and she prepares all these amazing recipes she's coming on right now just one second There she is. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, how are you? Hi. Thank you for coming live with us. We're really excited to hear your story. I'm so excited to be here. Sorry, this is so awkward. I'm trying to figure... Oh, yeah, there we go. That's how you turn it around. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, my God. I saw that pizza cooking earlier, and I was like, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> I can't hear you. You're... I can't hear you. Okay, now you're back. With can you hear me? I yes. can hear you. Yes, you're back. Um, so tell us, how did it all start? You're an amazing woman. You are a pizza girl by day, an amazing chef, and then you're a DJ, international DJ at night. How, how do you um, combine the two of those professions? Well, I started DJing when I was 17, long before I was cooking. And um, that just became my passion, and I traveled the world, and I ate food all over the world, thanks to DJing, and I, um, I, there was this show that I did, and growing up, um, sorry, this is so okay, growing up in the Du Bois Pizza family, I, um, I grew up in the kitchen, so I was always making pasta and pizza and all kinds of yummy Italian food with my grandmother and my dad catering movie sets and being dragged to all of his big catering jobs. So I just kind of learned as I, as I, you know, grew up, um, how to cook. And there was this one time I was actually DJing opening for Diplo at, um, Sundance. And there were these people in the crowd and they held up a sign that said pizza girl. <laughs> That's crazy. And I was like, how did they put two and two together, first of all? And second of all, I was like, okay, I can't avoid being called pizza girl. I've been called it my whole life by all my friends growing up. Oh, it's the pizza girl. Where's the pizza at? So when I saw that sign, I was just kind of like, I was there with my manager, Hamilton, Tom Hamilton. And I looked at him and I was like, you know what? Like, I just have to own this moniker. I just have to go with it rather than fight it. And the next show was the very next night. I was opening for Steve Aoki, and we spent the whole day, my manager and I, making um, t-shirts, spray painting t-shirts that said Pizza Girl, and we just started throwing them into the crowd, and then it just kind of, my worlds collided, and I started, you know, the catering division at De More's Pizza, and we did some huge, huge events, and one thing led to another, and I just wanted something to call my own, and Pizza Girl was born. And I just, yeah. 
That's awesome. You guys have your own sauce and everything. Pizza is all about the sauce, to make the right sauce. I know that much about pizza. <laughs> right, and Pizza Bro is the brand name, so it's, it's for everything. It's for all three sauces that we have right now, all organic, super low sodium, no added sugar, literally the best sauce you can get on the shelves. Um, if you can get them on the shelves right now. <laughs> that's and what are you guys selling? Tell, tell the audience, where are you guys selling the pizza and the sauce? Where are you guys? So pre-pandemic, pre um, we are sold at Gelson's, Bristol Farms, Air One, uh, several different Whole Foods, and Amazon. And we've been growing with all different um, local, small, amazing uh, supermarkets like Jade's. And um, yeah, so we're just kind of growing one step at a time, doing it very, you know, slowly. I've been doing it all on my own. So um, I'm really proud of it. And yeah, I'm just trying to keep it all going through this madness that is um, the coronavirus. So. Yeah. I wanted I wanted to start actually this show with gratitude. So I want to know what are you grateful for during this pandemic? I mean, there's a lot of things that you must be grateful for. Yeah, I'm grateful for so much. Um, I'm grateful. Well, obviously, the first and foremost, I'm grateful for my daughter Isabella. She's um, she's amazing. We just had her birthday. She turned five. Birthday. Yeah. And um, I'm just really grateful that I have my health, that my family has their health. I'm grateful that, um, you know, I'm grateful to be alive. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm grateful for my friends, my family, and, um, you know, once, one day at a time, we'll all get through this craziness that's going on. And I'm just grateful for the future. Um, and I feel like, I don't know, I was really down and sad as I'm sure a lot of people were right when this um, pandemic started and I got super depressed and then, you know, slowly, you know, I've, I've just been building back up and becoming, it's made me really grateful. It's made me grateful and it's made me calmer. It's made me enjoy being home and just cooking for the ones I love. And yeah, so that's pretty That's cool. awesome. Thank you for sharing your gratitude. My last question is, why don't you tell the viewers, and I'm really curious to know, what is so special about the pizza that you guys make? Is it an old recipe? I'll let you talk about it and explain. So the pizza in my family business, Demore famous pizza, is so special because we, since the beginning, we've shipped the water from the East Coast to make the dough. Um, and a lot of people think that that's like an old wives' tale, but it legitimately changes the dough. Um, something about the minerals in the water on the East Coast that make it better. That's why New York pizzas are better, bagels are better, donuts are better. Um, so we've been shipping the water from the East Coast for the past 30 years to make our delicious pizza. And we only use the best ingredients, um, healthiest ingredients that you can find. So it's pretty bomb. I eat it almost every day, especially right now. And you are so thin and fit. That's amazing. What's the secret? <laughs> The secret is not eating um, crappy pizza. I won't name the companies, but when you look at it, you can tell. Um, when you look at our pizza, you know, there's no grease on the bottom of the box. You know, we're using a, a low sodium, low moisture uh, mozzarella. Um, only the best ingredients. So that's really important. Make sure that, um, yeah, you're going to pizza restaurants if you can't get to a Demore's that uh, care about their ingredients. Yeah. And Carolyn, who is your customers? Tell us about your customers. You guys do catering as well. So who, right now, your I, customers? so right now I'm solely focused on Pizza Girl. Um, the Demore's restaurant is being run by my father and my siblings, and they are doing a fantastic job. So I've decided to branch off and do my own thing, and that is Pizza Girl. So um, my I, my customers for Pizza Girl are of all ages. Um, Actually, a lot of the older clientele are really into the fact that it's low sodium. Um, and then a lot of the kind of millennial, um, millennial younger people are into it because A, it looks cool, it's different, you know. Why it's really beautiful, the, the whole packaging, I love it. The jars are beautiful. I'm sure it tastes good. Next time I'm in LA, I, I, I must try your pizza. Yes, and you can <laughs> eventually. Um, My God, this looks amazing. Yeah. Tell us what you have there. What do you have there? 
Okay, so I did a chicken dish cooked in my puttanesca sauce, which is the one with catamala olives and capers. And I just laid it on a bed of quinoa, make it a little bit healthier. Um, and over here, we used my vodka sauce, nice and creamy. And I sauteed some mushrooms and um, put Parmesan cheese in. Oh my God, this looks so good. And peas, yeah, it's so good. You know, and it's so easy. It's easy for, um, you know, it's easy to just take a jar from your cabinet and make up a fabulous fun dish for your family. So, yeah. That looks really good. Are you gonna share the recipe with the viewers? One yes. of your recipes? Absolutely. I sent you the recipes, did you get yes. them? <laughs> yes, we will post the recipes after the show. So uh, what, what is, which one is your favorite? Which one would you like to recommend to the viewers? Oh, that's so hard for me because, you know, you're, you're not going like <laughs> to like, all of them. like catamala olives and capers. It's very flavorful, but it's great to cook chicken and different, um, different meats in. I'm obsessed with the vodka sauce. That is just, has my heart. And our marinara is really, really fresh and delicious. So, I mean, I'm obviously biased. They're all fantastic. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Well, we have to try all of them then. <laughs> Yes, you're going to have to try all Pizza Girl sauces as soon as you can. And I do want to just say um, from my company that we have been having a really hard time sourcing all of these ingredients through the pandemic. Um, it's been actually really kind of a nightmare. Um, so a lot of us small companies are losing out on um, all the organic ingredients because the big companies have gone and like, you know, wrapped up it all knowing that this was going on. So... I've been working day and night. There's like a, two jars left at the Gelson's on um, uh, Franklin. <laughs> um, but I'm working, you know, around the clock to try to get it made fast enough for the demand right now. And um, I hope y'all stick with me through this pandemic because- Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you have your own clients, Alan. We all, your new clients. So we definitely stick by you. <laughs> and wishing you the best of luck. This looks amazing and sounds amazing. You're very talented. and. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Good luck with everything. Ciao. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Hi, thank you so much, Carolyn. This was amazing. I'm in love with your pizza and the sauces. And I cannot wait to get my hands on your sauces and make some dishes at home. Really would love that. So um, thank you all the viewers who stayed with us and supported Carolyn. Really appreciate all your support. And now we continue uh, with our show. We have our next guest who's coming in is Chelsea Randon. She's a young actress. She's amazing. She plays in the new drama series um, it's called Vida. And uh, we welcome her to tell us all about this new project that she's in. Okay, she's coming in. Here she is. Hello. Hi, Chelsea. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How about yourself? Very good. Thank you. <laughs> so um, I want to start this, your uh, segment with gratitude because of these times we all have something to be grateful for. And I know you have a lot to be grateful for. So I want to hear what are you grateful for during this pandemic, during this sensitive times that we're going through right now? Um, I think the main thing is my health and the health of those around me that I love and, you know, my family. Uh, luckily, this pandemic has not hit too close to home. Um, there are some people that I know that are friends of people and, and relatives that they have lost. But, you know, so far, my family and, and my loved ones have been safe. So I'm super grateful for that. Thank God. And, for that. You know, also, I think, especially in this pandemic, I think people are realizing how important actors are and how important entertainment is. And the fact that they, everybody wants to binge watch and, and you know, stay busy watching shows and movies. Um, I think that actors are being a little bit more valued, which is really, uh, I'm really grateful for. Because in the past, I think any actor has probably heard the term like, oh, why don't you get a real job or, um, you know, something 
like real, you know, as if acting isn't a real job. And, and I think the necessity for actors and shows and content right now is, is really showing people like, in a way we are essential workers, even if it's not in the way of saving lives, like we are important for people to keep going and to keep connected and, and escape, you know, that's one of the things that I've been doing. I've been watching comedy shows and, um, and just trying to get lost in a rom-com so that I forget what we're living in. And I think that is really important. So I'm really grateful for that. Yes, we're all grateful for entertainment and for you guys, because this is what keeps us going nowadays. <laughs> Everybody's glued to the TV and looking at all the shows and everything. So oh, yeah, we're very definitely. excited about the Vida. Can you please tell us about the Vida and the role that you play in Vida? Yes, so Vida is a show on stars that follows two sisters moving back to Boyle Heights when their mother dies. And they find out that she was married and to a woman and there's backlash on that because the mother kicked the older daughter out because of lesbian tendencies so there's a lot of um issues with the family um and then you have my character that's the activist uh in the neighborhood that's against gentrification and i have a lot of anger towards the sisters and then one of the sisters has been on and off with my brother so overall, the show is a lot of family dynamics, um, kind of acceptance, not only with yourself, but with others, and also secrets and drama and love triangles. Um, there's, there's never like a, a boring moment with, um, <laughs> with Vida. Yeah, there's friends, always they love a dog show, okay? <laughs> And everybody loves Vida, you see? Oh, yes. I'm uh, reading your, your fans notes. Yes, thank you, Alexis. <laughs> and Shelly. <laughs> okay, sorry to interrupt. Go on. Um, and so, you know, the show really resonates well with a lot of people because everybody deals with grief and everybody deals with, you know, the first love and everybody deals with family dynamics and family issues. So I feel that um, that's one of the reasons why the show is so well received because every storyline is universal and every storyline can be in a different setting and it still works. And it just works really well with us, especially because it's a show about Latinos written and directed by Latinos, which is really important. That's amazing. How do you feel about your character? What inspires you about your character that you play? She's just such a badass. She She's not afraid to fight for what she wants and what she believes in. And right now she's in a time where she's starting to question if she's actually uh, like doing the right thing, which I really like because everybody goes through that. Everybody doubts, oh man, am I going to make it as an actor? Or can I really become a doctor? Like, can I make it through law school? You know, like everybody has doubts in their life and she's in this period of time as a young 21 year old girl trying to figure things out and um i'm just i uh she's just a badass i love her <laughs> so you love everything about this show what you're having fun doing this show you have oh that. my god it's been amazing like the family that we created with the show like it's never going to be broken like the sad thing is that this is our final season but we're never going to be over because the family that we created within the show, like we're still going to hang out. We're still going to see each other. We're still going to be supporting each other at whatever premiere or wedding or, you know, anything will be there for each other. That's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. That's really <laughs> great. My question, my next question to you, um, what inspired you to become an actress? I know you started really early in life, but what, yes. what inspired you? I started when I was six and I always, I feel like I came out of the womb ready to perform. I was always just a very outgoing monkey sort of kid that jumped on everything and wanted to like play an instrument, even though it wasn't an instrument or um, I used a vacuum as my microphone. So <laughs> I always just kind of had that in my blood. And my mom actually got my middle name from the ending credits of a movie which is a fun fact. So, um, yeah, I kind of just, it was always in me. But what really, like, I think 
the final like the final like okay you gotta do it is when I watched Selena at the drive in oh. when I was five years old. Okay. Then it was like I wanna be Selena. I wanna be Selena. And I didn't actually know the singer Selena because she had passed before I was like when I was born. But um when I was like young. So it was the movie that for me was Selena and and it was that. So that for me. Um oh by the way, hot Sunday, look what scrunchie I'm wearing. I like it. That's so cute. Looks like yeah, it's by this, um this brand Hot Sunday that just joined the live. So I'm rocking it. Uh Latina owned company. They're actually doing masks right now. And so they stopped doing like scrunchies and 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 pins and head wraps. They're doing masks right now, which is amazing. Um, and then I'm also wearing my raggedy t shirt because I love supporting it looks adorable. I like yeah, it. I love supporting Latina owned companies. It's so important. And you know, again, not only Latina companies, but you know, Latinos in Hollywood. It's all about that. So I, I try to do as as best as I can. You must be a great dancer. Being Latina, you must dance salsa and <laughs> well, actually, salsa is more like Puerto Rican Cuban, but I do dance that. But I didn't actually learn to dance salsa until I was like 21 or no, 20 when I was in Puerto Rico. But okay. yeah, my, like me growing up Mexican, I grew up like listening to like cumbias and banda and, and that sort of vibe. So I could do a little like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> uh, through your career, what was your favorite role that you played so far and why? Um, definitely Vida is really important, but I think, uh, it's one of my favorites, but another one of my favorites has been playing, uh, this character Vidi on the film, The Infiltrators, which is part documentary, part, uh, scripted because they couldn't get footage in a detention center, but she's a real character. She's a real person. And I got to have conversations with her and she's a badass activist that put herself on the line and got herself detained on purpose to help other people in detention centers. So specifically playing her has been an unbelievable experience and has really touched me because again, she's a real person and she actually was in a detention center for weeks, you know, trying to help. And, you know, I, I compare her to a firefighter putting herself on the line, you know, or like, you know, the nurses and doctors taking care of people, like she legit put other people's well-being above her own. Um, so that is definitely a, a big thing. And then, in, in, and Mari in Vida is such a big thing because it's such a big deal for my career. And it went from playing, you know, a young young kids to playing a 21 year old. And, and it really was a different dynamic for me. And also the first time really being a series regular and dealing with, you know, everything that comes with it, the press and, you know, the, the other job opportunities. I worked on the show Shameless on Showtime and I got that job because the cr creator is a fan of Vida and loved me on the show. So like, I would have never worked on Shameless if it wasn't for Vida, you know, like things like that. It's helped me so much in my career. So those are definitely my, my top two favorite. That's Thanks. awesome. What's your plans for the future after this pandemic is over? Are you working on any new materials? Um, right what now, is going on actor, in your life? As an actor, we just got to get back to auditioning and, you know, seeing if we could book the next part. Um, right now, I have the infiltrators out online. I have the link in my bio, which you can watch. And then in August, another movie that I'm in, The Tax Collector, is supposed to be coming out. It's written and directed by David Ayer. It stars Bobby Soto, Shia LaBeouf, myself, Noemi Gonzalez, Lana Parria, George Lopez, Cheyenne Hernandez, like a bunch of Latinos. Um, and it's and it's really I haven't seen it yet, but the script was amazing, so I'm really excited. What is this about? Um, I can't really say much except for that it's like a gritty like crime drama. Okay. Uh, a gritty like criminal sort of thing. Make sure um, I'll make sure I'll watch it. <laughs> yes, yes. And then also I am producing. So I oh, am wow. seen and That's starring great. in a romantic comedy and I'm really excited for that because I get to play an actual like middle mid twenties woman. Cause because I look so young, like everybody thought Mari was really, really young. And so we had to be like, no, she's 21. And because I have a baby face, um, 
especially right now my hair in a ponytail i look you, really know, you look really young yeah like um, but so I, i'm 27 so i'll be playing oh, wow. like 25 in the film so i love being able to play an actual adult woman <laughs> and you know doing a romantic comedy like at the end of the day like hollywood has made a lot of good strides to represent latinos in a better light but i still get cast as a tough chick or the chola and so I want this to kind of help me get away from that and just play a woman that happens to be brown in this romantic comedy, which has cute moments. And, you know, it, it gives me uh, a sense of like the old school romantic comedies. We were more like, like when you think of like, you've got Mayo or Sleepless in Seattle, where it's a little bit more like, Roma I don't know. Like for me personally, like one of my favorite rom coms was Crazy Stupid Love. But that was like ten years ago. And then I hadn't seen a really, really good one until um Long Shot with Charlie Theron and Seth Rogen. I yes. loved that one. That was a classic rom com that was just so good. So I hope that um this my film gives me those vibes. So I'm really excited for that. Well, congratulations. That sounds amazing. Thank Wishing you me. all the best and good luck to you. And thank you so much for joining in love. We hope to see more of you. And we're going to watch the new movies and the thank episodes. You. All the yes, best. The stay healthy, stay yes, the Infiltrators link. Stay safe. Yes, the Infiltrators link is in my bio. Um, so if you want to check it out, it's $12. And half of the proceeds actually go to the immigrant activists that helped That's us perfect. do the, the film that got deported because he was targeted by ICE once we premiered. Wow. At Sundance. Thank you for sharing with us and thank you so much for coming live within love. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you, you so too. much. Have a good Stay one. Stay safe. You too. Bye. Ciao. That was amazing. How did you like how did you like both of our guests tonight? Thank you so much for joining us. Stay and follow in love. We have more to come on Wednesday. We have more actors. We have actually a music performer, which is going to be amazing. Stay tuned for the announcements. And thank you so much for joining us. Stay safe. What's this, Ben? What?